Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. So finally, ito na nga yung party na gano'n tayo experience ko. And in my previous video, I told you guys naka 20 sessions na ako. And na-share ko sa inyo dun yung experience ko with my first 10 sessions. So kung yung pinapapanood yun, I'll just link it down on the description box. And mas okay kung panoorin mo muna yung before the video na to. Para mas maintindihan mo yung mga swing mamaya. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my experience on my 11 to 20th sessions. And as you can see on the title, I'm gonna talk about the three things you need to avoid if you're taking the glutathione drip. Plus, I'm gonna be answering the frequently asked questions that you guys have. Disclaimer lang ulit, I'm not an expert, so all of the things that you would hear is just based on my personal experience, okay? So, ayan. Um, ito na nga, I decided to take another 10 sessions and gusto ko yung kasi malaman kung mag-enlighten up my skin ko kung mag-4 times or 6 times steady na ba ako this time. So, this is my photo before I started the 11th session. Ayan. Kasi na yung mga drip, ito yung mga time na sobrang kuya talaga ako. I didn't have enough sleep. And on top of that, um, I decided to take the sessions twice a week, which is supposed to be once a week lang. They allowed me, but they also informed me that it is not recommended. And I swear, I didn't really feel good at all. Compared before that, I really felt sleepy after the sessions. This time, sumisikit lang yung dip dip ko. Tapos, during the dip, um, bumibigat yung arms ko. Narinig ko na to before sa mga other real-time videos, which sabi normal naman daw. Pero kasi sa akin, hindi ko talaga siya na-experience on my first to 10 sessions. So, bago lang talaga siya sa akin. And, ayun nga, uh, laging bumibigat yung arms ko kaya nangangawit siya during the day. So, nung mga sa 15 sessions na ata ako nun, sabi ko parang gusto ko nalang bumalik sa once a week. Kasi parang hindi kinakain ng katawan ko. Kasi imagine, kuyat nga ako. Tapos, twice a week ko pa siya tinitake. So, parang kailangan um, once a week na lang para mas makapagpahinga or mas ma-absorb yung katawan ko yung hindi tayo. So, ang first down ko is, don't take the sessions if you lack sleep. Second is, don't take it twice a week. Yan. So, eto, ang mali ko pa nga, medyo nakampante ako knowing that I already get two times lighter and I will get another 10 sessions. Aminado ako, medyo napabayaan ko yung skin ko. Hindi ko hindi na ako iitim talaga at all. <laughs> Ayan. So, before kasi, I usually took a grab or taxi papunta sa clinic. Pero this time, I opted to take ang cast instead. Kasi mas, ano siya, mas mabilis. I only have to travel like 2 hours papunta and pabalik. So, ma medyo malayo kasi talaga yung, ano, yung clinic sa amin. And, imagine, tanghali, inag-open yung clinic. So, nag-travel ako na uh, mainit na talaga. So, minsan ako, pagdala naman ako ng jacket to cover up my skin from sunlight, but most of the time, wala. Eh, hindi nyo talaga mapayong na tao. So, ayan, nabibilad talaga ako sa araw niyan. And to be honest, I didn't feel like I get any lighter on my 11 to 20th sessions. Parang na-stuck lang ako sa 2 times lighter. And wala 3 times or 4 times lighter yung naganap. Ayan. So my third don't is don't take the sessions if you're gonna expose yourself from too much sunlight anyway. Kasi sobrang sayang yung pera kung wala ka naman palang balak na alaga yung skin mo, diba? So I'm just sharing this with you guys para maiwasan niya yung mga maling decision ko sa buhay. Hindi pa kita yung ganun yung experience ko is magiging ganun na yung experience nyo. But might as well consider the three don'ts that I have. Para sana mas maging smooth lang yung sessions nyo and mas masabi nyo na worth it yung pera na ilalabas nyo for this. And after nga ng sessions, so panayisip ko kung sana tinik ko lang siya once a week and then kung mas inalagaan ko yung skin ko, siguro na 4 times or 6 times lighter pa ako. Pero ayun nga, wala na tayo magagawa kasi <laughs> tapos na. And now, I'm gonna be answering the frequently asked questions that you guys have. So, first question would be, would the gluta drip also whiten my bikini area, inner thighs, and underarm? My answer is not totally. Mas nakitaan po kasi nang change yun dito sa sleep area, lower legs, and neck ko. And puputin naman yung bikini area, inner thighs, and underarm nyo. Pero hindi siya papantay sa kulay nyo. So I recommend if your main concern is to whiten those specific areas, might as well take those treatments that mainly focuses on that part. Like Skin Station, they offer intensive whitening for underarm and bikini area. Next question is, anong age pwede magpagluta? So usually naman, 18 years old and the 
ko. But sa deep science, um, sabi nila, they allowed 17 years old but with parents' consent. And then, 17 below, bawal na. Next question is, babalik ba yung original skin color ko if I stop taking the glutathione drip? The answer is no. Um, for example, you get four times lighter, so permanent na po yun. But take note that you really have to take care of your skin kasi kung nag four times lighter ka nga tapos nagbibipilad ka naman sa araw, of course, yes, sis, babalik talaga yung skin color mo and iitin ka pa yun talaga. Next is, how many mg is the ultra glow drip? That it is 3,000 mg of glutathione. Actually, um, nagtanong din ako sa other clinics like sa Iconic, which is doon nagpapagulatayon si Tony Fowler. And they said na yung bestseller glutathione nila consists of 2,500 mg. Which is, kung kinumpare ko yung price nung sa Iconic and sa Drip Science, magkaparehas na din talaga. So, sa Drip Science ka na lang. Next question is, what brand of glutathione they are using and where can I buy those? Guys, actually, hindi ko alam yung brand and I think it is not for disclosure to the public kasi baka confidential siya. But if you're really desperate to know the brand, might as well try to ask the clinic directly. Last question is, what am I using for my maintenance? So, actually, wala nga akong guys maintenance kasi hindi ako nag-whiten yung soap, hindi rin ako nag-whiten yung lotions, and hindi rin ako nag-whiten yung capsule. So, as in, wala talaga akong maintenance. And sa sobrang daming nagtanong niya sa akin, parang may isip ko nga, oo nga, no, parang kailangan pala may maintenance ako, may kapan. Actually, may nag-reach out sa akin ng isang brand, which is yung Aqua Skin. And they're asking if I wanna try their brand and make a review about it. So, comment down below kung gusto niyo ba i-try ko. So, ito, Aqua Skin. Ayan. Ayan yung brand. So, gusto ko kasi sana ma-anay, ma-upos ko yung whole bottle before ako mag-upo ng review. Para sana mas, ano, mas buko and kompleto yung review ng mga bottle product. 